Oh, and we, we, can go, we can go back 10, 12 years if you want, but the, the reality yeah. is that we have to deal with this today. Can you, well, name, that's right. can you name a foreign policy success on behalf of this administration? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, there, there are a number. First of all, I think the, the president and the White House, as you know, have said that uh, as we you know, continue to you know, monitor and engage in the Middle East, we need to really focus on East Asia uh, and the president's trip out there and the president's policies out there, uh, I think, have succeeded in bringing together uh, that alliance, which has always That's, existed, but strengthening Listen, I know this is a tough question to answer, but I, I'll just well, go through the no, list. No, I, no, I, no, hang on one sec. Middle well, East peace just, process, Afghanistan, yeah. Syria, Libya, Ukraine, Russia, Iraq, Egypt. I mean, that's just a handful well, well, that we wait, came Mandela, up earlier I mean, today. Is, I, I, is, any, I, yeah. is any of those situations, any of those countries now considered a foreign policy success? Well, here's the question. Do we really think the United States can micromanage events in each of these areas? And are you really suggesting that because after we got Gaddafi, which was a success, we didn't stay on the ground in Libya and make sure that we had a stable country in Libya? I mean, Libya's stability came about partly because they had a ruthless dictator where there was bipartisan consensus that we needed to get rid of him. So unless the argument is that, you know, we should have the United States military babysitting Libya and babysitting all these countries uh, in the region, which I don't think yet, the American public wants to do. You have to be able to forecast what comes next in those countries, especially if you're going to engage in an air war over Libya. 37 percent in the Wall Street Journal poll, 37 yeah. percent of Americans believe that the foreign policy right now is something they approve of. I mean, well, I, Bill, how can I you mean, explain what, a number like that? I'll give you the I last what, answer and we got to run. Well, I, I think you can explain it because, uh, unfortunately, what used to be more of a national uh, consensus uh, in foreign policy has now become an automatic uh, partisan issue. And that's what you're seeing from Republican senators uh, in the Senate today. Yeah. It's not an effort to solve problems. 37% is more than just Republicans, as you well know, sir. But, well, uh, that, yeah, but, but it's because of this constant, constant rant uh, that divides the country when we should be coming together on these issues. Chris Van Hollen, I'm out of time. We'll talk again, okay? The Democrat right, from Bill. Maryland. We Appreciate you coming on today. Absolutely.